British fossil hunters found the remains of what's thought to be the world's biggest ever sea monster. An absolutely awesome marine reptile, the top predator of the Jurassic Sea 155 million years ago. Kevin Sheehan discovered the giant after storms brought down limestone cliffs, uncovering the eight-foot-long skull. This is a once-in-a-lifetime find. There's no question about that. Um, the important thing to bear in mind is that this was found on the beach, um, or a large, large part of it, and it just shows the, the best place to find fossils is actually on the beach rather than up in the cliffs. The skull belongs to a pliosaur, one of a group of giant aquatic reptiles. They roamed the warm seas over what's now southern Britain 150 million years ago. Scientists say the predator would have been about 52 feet long and was so powerful it could have bitten a car in half and had a Tyrannosaurus rex for breakfast. This is the top of the skull, there's the snout. It would have risen up, it's been crushed a fair degree, risen up to the very back of the skull here and that would have sat on top of the jaws over here. So we're looking at an animal about this high with the skull coming down towards the, uh, the mouth and both joining up. We're missing the very end here. It probably fell out of the cliffs uh, several decades ago. And here are the jaws, of course. There would have been great big teeth sticking out here, probably up to sort of 20 centimetres or longer. Experts hope that the rest of the pliosaur's body may lie hidden in the cliff, equally well preserved. The exact spot in the stretch of beach dubbed the Jurassic Coast is being kept secret to deter amateur hunters. Melissa Hamilton, ABC News.